This 2008 Saturn Outlook we have in the shop today belongs to a Wells employee. It has a 3.6 engine and nearly 100,000 miles on it. Intermittently, while driving under a load, the engine will lose power and reduced power light will illuminate. She would then pull off the side of the road, shut the engine off, wait 10 or 15 minutes, restart, and everything is normal for a while. She took the vehicle to a dealership and they said she needed an engine rebuild to correct the problem. They said this because she had some oil in the air intake. Granted, this is an indication the rings are getting weak, but it has nothing to do with the engine losing power. We first looked for any codes and none were found. We then took a look on Identifix and bam, there it is. Other than setting a code, our symptoms are exactly the same. It supplied us with a great diagnostic procedure. The first step was to disconnect the throttle body and move the throttle plate with one hand. The reason the directions say to disconnect the throttle body is because you do not want to press on the throttle plate until you are sure there is no current being supplied to the throttle body. If the throttle plate was activated while your finger was on the plate, it could sever your finger. Be sure there is no power going to the throttle body before you test for resistance on the throttle plate. As you can see, our plate is free to move. If it did bind, the throttle plate would need to be removed and replaced. Before we go any further with our testing, let's take a look at how the system functions. Behind me is a wiring diagram for the accelerator pedal position sensor, or APPS. On the top of the screen is the PCM. The APPS is on the bottom. Notice, each of the sensors on the APPS receive a 5 volt reference from the PCM. They each have their own ground and signal port. As the accelerator pedal is pressed to the floor, the voltages on one of the sensors goes from high to low and the other sensor voltage goes from low to high. I know my voltage meters are not perfect, but on the vehicle, the total of these two voltages should always total 5 volts. If the voltage totals stray from the 5 volt total, the power loss light will illuminate and the system will go into limp mode. Now behind me is a wiring diagram for the throttle body. When the PCM receives a signal from the APPS, it then commands the throttle body motor to move the throttle plate in the same amount. Notice the black dot with the M in the middle. This is a sign that represents the motor. The motor is controlled by the PCM sending a 12 volt signal into the motor and then grounding the other side. This turns the motor in one direction. To reverse the motor direction, the PCM reverses the position of the transistors and in turn also the current flow. When the motor begins to move the throttle plate, the throttle position sensors send a signal to the PCM reporting how far it had rotated. This is also a redundant signal like the APPS. One goes from high voltage to low voltage and the other sensor works in the opposite direction. Again, the total voltage should equal 5 volts. If the voltages do not equate to the specific amount the APPS is calling for, again, the system will go into limp mode and the reduced power light will illuminate. Now that we have a better understanding how the system functions, let's go to the vehicle and do some testing. For the testing, we are going to use a scan tool, lab scope, and back probes. This is a pinout diagram for the throttle body on this vehicle. Pins A and B control the motor. We will amp clamp one of these wires, it does not matter which wire. Pin C is the low reference or ground. Pin D is the signal for the first TP sensor. Pin E is the 5 volt reference and pin F is the signal for the second TP sensor. We will back probe pins D and F and observe the TP sensor signals and amp clamp one of the wires going to the motor. We will observe the lab scope while activating the throttle body with the scan tool. The scan tool allows us to advance the throttle plate in 10 degree increments. If you do not have access to a scan tool, have someone step on the accelerator in increments with the ignition key on. This is a new throttle body and this is what a good pattern should look like. Remember, while activating the throttle, also touch 
the, th the plate at the same time. If you feel vibration or the plate is slow to react, the throttle body needs to be replaced. We're now going to use the connector on the known good throttle body and connect it to another throttle body and test it in the same manner. Now look at the amperage pattern. The motor in these throttle bodies is a brush type, meaning it is very similar to a fuel pump. While testing the amperage draw of a fuel pump, you are looking at the amperage pumps created by the brushes and the commentators. As you can see on the scope, when the plate begins to vibrate, the amperage draw goes way out of specs. For this reason, it appears on this throttle body that the motor is defective. If the TP sensor voltages would have spiked or dropped out, it would mean the sensor has failed. After replacing the throttle body, the owner was advised to have the air snorkel cleaned out at every oil change to prevent the oil from reaching the mass airflow sensor. She has been driving the vehicle now for more than six months without an issue. If you'd like more information on throttle drive-by wire, click on the link in the description below. The link will take you to a recorded training session. Well, that's it for today. We'll see you again next time in the Wells Tech Garage.